Lethbridge. The Honourable Member can shift the attention to Canadians and blame them all he likes, but at the end of the day, it is ultimately on the back of this government. We are two years into this pandemic, and our health care system has been on life support the entire time. Canadians have missed elective surgeries, they have missed early diagnosis of life-threatening diseases, and they have lit missed numerous other treatments. Mental health concerns are through the roof. People are literally dying. And so yet uh, there is no increased funding to this anemic health care system under this government. They just continue to shoulder the burden off to the provinces. And my question is this. It's very simple. When will the Prime Minister stop worrying about his... Honourable Government House Leader. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I, I'm deeply proud of our country. Over 90 about 90 percent of Canadians are, uh, have at least one uh, dose of their vaccinated. We're seeing one of the lowest death rates from the COVID-19 anywhere in the world. But what we know is that our ICUs continue to be filled with the unvaccinated. And when the members opposite attack mandates and attack things that encourage folks to get vaccinated, I don't understand how they can, in the same breath, complain about stress on the health care system when they know that that about 75% of people who are in ICUs are unvaccinated, even though they only represent 10% of the population. Let's get through this pandemic. Let's follow in back science. Here, here. Yeah.